Welcome to iLecture Online and our next example is the diffraction pattern of a circular aperture or circular opening. Most optical instruments including the human eye or the eyes of any animal or fish or anything like that tends to be circular. We look through the light that shines through our eyes, uh, goes through a circular opening, the cameras have circular openings and so forth and telescopes have circular uh, objective lenses and objective mirrors and so forth. So what we're trying to do here is find the angle of resolution of an optical instrument including the human eye. In other words, we're trying to find the angle between the central maximum and the first dark fringe. The difference here is that with a circle opening the dark fringes are circular and so we're simply trying to find this angle right there and that's considered what we call the angle of resolution. And the equation says that the sine of theta is equal to 1.22 times lambda over d D is the diameter of the circular opening and lambda is the wavelength of the light that goes through the circular opening. So, of course, the angle resolution does depend upon the wavelength of the light and the diameter. And the better the resolution, the smaller the angle. The smaller the angle of resolution, the, the sharper the image is, the more you can resolve small, closely spaced objects from one another. And so you can see that the sine of theta for very small angles is approximately equal to theta. And you can then see that the smaller the angle, uh, that can be achieved by having a smaller wavelength or a larger diameter. So the bigger the opening, the better the angle of resolution. The smaller opening, the worse the angle of resolution. All right. Then um, how do we find, let's say, the angle of resolution when the wavelength is the typical wavelength for visible light, which is 500 nanometers. Let's say the opening here is, uh, let's say, D is equal to uh, 4 millimeters, which is the typical, and I'm having trouble writing mm, uh, millimeters, which is the typical size of the human pupil. And let's find what the typical uh, resolution angle is for human vision. So we can say that uh, sine of theta is equal to 1.22 times lambda. Lambda would be equal to 500 nanometers. And we divide that by 4 millimeters. Like so, and of course, theta would then would, the, would be the arc sine of that. So it would be 1.22 times the ratio of 500 times 10 to the minus 9 meters divided by 4 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. Of course, we want to convert that to meters to have a common unit and here's my calculator and let's see what we get so we have 500 e to the 9 minus divided by 4 e to the 3 minus multiply that times 1.22 and then we take the arc sine of that and you can see here that the angle of resolution is 8.73 times 10 to the minus 3 degrees um, Wow, that's a, that's a very, very small angle, meaning the human vision has extreme acute vision capability. But now let's take an eagle, for example. An eagle has a diameter of the pupil that is much greater than the human vision. For example, the diameter of an eagle is probably more like 1.5 centimeters. When they open their eyes wide open and they're scouring the grounds for rodents, then you can see that when you plug in a larger D, then you get a much smaller angle right, right here. And so Eagle vision is probably three to four times as good as human vision. And of course, if you then go to the Hubble Space Telescope where the diameter of the mirror is in the order of 2.8 or 2.4 meters, you can see that has a tremendous aperture and therefore a very, very tiny angle of resolution, which makes the Hubble Telescope such a tremendous instrument in taking vision of far away things to the extreme accuracy of its resolution. But anyway, that's how you find the angle of resolution for an optical instrument.